Does your rear view mirror do this? Ooh. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All right, so this customer already had their trim off here, so I can't really show you how to take that clamshell trim off. It's pretty easy. You can get a little screwdriver in there and kind of pry it, and it'll pop off. Uh, so here, the ring you can see on the back is, is all loose. It, it coming off. Uh, to, to remove this, you're gonna move this thing uh, to the left, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So normally I have two hands here. Let's try with one. Yeah. Around me are familiar faces. There it is, right there. And we're gonna take that connector off. And oh shoot, look at that, it just fell apart. Perfect, fantastic. All right, once you have it on the table, you're gonna to wanna to pop this out here so you can access the bottom of the ball. And we're gonna throw some epoxy underneath in here and all around. All right. All underneath there, spin it around. Just on the underside, pretty much. And push it back in to where it seat, seats in there and you're gonna to wanna to center this here. We want it to dry or set. After it sets, what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of break it loose and it should be a lot tighter and when you reinstall it, you should be able to uh, adjust it. Okay, now this is for your personal car and you're the only one that drives it. You can just fill in basically this whole thing. And once it gets pretty stiff and tacky, um, you can put it back on the windshield. I'll show you how to put it back on later and just tape it to the desired um, spot that, that you like. And it'll stay like that once it hardens and then you're, you're golden. Uh, this is actually for a customer. I'm doing him a little favor he doesn't know about. And I want this to be able to be movable for him. Um, so, so now this is getting pretty tacky. I want to put this in the freezer for a little bit and I'm going to crack this loose and the ball should be able to move around and still have some tension because of the epoxy there. And then I'll mount it and it should be good. All right, it's out of the freezer now. Let's crack this thing. There it is, just like that. And once it's cracked, we'll let this get at regular room temperature and we'll install it. All right, we're going back on here. I'm gonna connect the connector. All right, and when going back on and twisting this, it's uh, indexed this way here, and we're gonna make it to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're gonna wanna pull right here and also guide it right here so it has an even turning because this can also rip off of uh, the gluing mount and you won't be able to get it back on. And also you have the potential to crack the windshield. So let's find the clocking position. You'll feel it lock in. There it is right there. You see it? And we're going to pull and twist it. There it is. And it locks in nicely. Look at that. So now this customer can adjust this thing. Perfect. Fantastic. I hope this has helped you out. We'll see you next time. Happy motoring to you.